What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video with your boy Pain. And I got my boy Nox here hooking me up with his account to show you guys if Megumi is actually worth pulling for. And if he is, how good is this unit? So, we're going to do a complete free-to-play account showcase. Uh, this man has just been super, super lucky on his account. He's got 50k gems over here, kicking around solar cubes. Uh, and we got a copy of Megumi here. And we're going to show you guys the formation, what he's all about, how he plays, and if he's worth going for at the end of the day. Obviously, many of you guys know you are saving for for Utah some of you guys are just tired of saving at this point you just want to get the characters you want and you want to play the game the way you, the way you want to play the game but nonetheless let's go over the character and make sure you guys understand he is currently grade 8 zero awakening his skills are 6 3 5 and 6 now the reason why 6 here of course is because he does a ton of damage and he also applies the very very important 88.5% in this case damage taken increase to target enemies for 3 turns this is huge and also deals melee attack damage equal to 256% of physical technique this is a massive massive of debuff guys including damage also right so extremely extremely powerful definitely want that up here if you are looking to deal with aoe mobs and just clear things uh so this is going to be your your main setup here deals melee attack damage to all enemies equal to 144 percent uh of the physical technique two hits in total uh the skill effect changes during the domain expansion though deals hybrid damage to all enemies at 155.6 percent for both melee and curse uh, and then also does range attack three hits and three hits in total so this is a great way to clear quick mobs if they are weaker than you obviously easy way to obviously deal with three waves for the most part but if it's bosses and stuff this here's your bread and butter with the, of course going with sprint slash here deals melee attack and hybrid damage to target enemies equal to 208 physical and 146 cursed and applies 20 percent physical technique damage to take an increase to them for three turns but if this done if this is done during the domain expansion it now becomes chimera shadow garden and deals way 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 more damage so i'm a double damage here almost double damage there a uh, little bit more on the on the curse side and then deals range attack damage to all of them um at a 183 percent of curse technique applies 60 percent physical technique damage down and also has a 100 chance to stun giving you a whole ass new turn guys this character is pretty damn op not gonna lie pretty damn op and then there's of course domain expansion to level six applies attack nullification energy gauge increase nullification and cursed energy efficiency increase itself and resets cur cursed energy back down to zero when the effect ends deals range damage to the target equal to 1332 percent of cursed technique four hits in total has a 100 percent chance to apply stun to them also applies 35 percent damage dealt decrease and 45 percent damage taken increase to all enemies pretty damn op so let's go in here and kind of show you guys how this 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 unit works right at the end of the day this is a broken unit no matter which way you look at it this is a broken unit and this is a unit that many people do want to actually take advantage of but unfortunately due to the fact that we obviously are now limited in regards to our summons many of you guys are still waiting for utah so the question becomes what do you do do you end up going for this unit or not and at the end of the day it's up to you guys how you want to do this i personally think he's definitely worth going for but i'm like for my personal account i'm going to be saving so that's that's something you definitely want to hold off on if you are looking for Utah, that's who you want to save for still, in my opinion. But hey, Megumi's no slouch. Now, many of you guys I know are actually going back in here and re re refreshing and also re-rolling your accounts just to get him. Again, not a bad choice if you're willing to put the effort in. But let's show you guys how this works and how you want to build him and how you want to use him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fight this new boss. This is the setup here. We got uh, Unamaki, Gojo. Uh, we have ourselves in Umaki, or sorry, uh, Megumi and Yaga. You guys see here, he's got the in excellent shape, which actually ends up giving him 360 ultimate gauge self for for, uh, for self for after four turns. It can use command tr uh, skill. This is an incredible, incredible recollection, by the way, and pretty much can be used for anybody. And the second skill here, when a wave starts, applies 25% physical technique damage take uh, taken decrease for three turns. So very, very powerful and uh, extremely, extremely useful to use in this battle. Okay, so let's go ahead and start this fight. Show you guys the rotation, how he works, and hopefully we can get a domain off so you guys can see how, how cool it looks as well too, okay? So, we'll put this times two. With Yaga, of course, you want to do the usual typical stuff. Go tutoring. With him, you can go ahead and use a skill if you like to give him a little bit more power. Go ahead and use Farewell Slash. And then with Gojo, ideally you just want to power up a little bit. And then Unamaki, you want to go ahead and do Ward Off to get yourself some more damage decrease, including some more gauge. You guys can see there that, that game quite a bit right there. All right, there's poison and a little bit of damage. Go back to tutoring. Uh, in this case, you can do, if you want to do sprint slash, you can. This will do some more damage. So we're going to do that right there. Now, remember, if you do this, this applies the 85% 
um, damage damage increase taken, right? So 80.5%. So actually, ideally, you want to go Farewell Slash again. And then over here, do one more of those and then Ward. Okay. The Ward off should pretty much push him all the way. One more attack there, and that'll push him to cast his Domain. Now that Gojo's ready, we'll do one more Tutoring. We'll do Sprint Slash here. Actually, does apply a stun only at the Chimera level, so we're not going to do that. Go ahead and do Farewell Slash again. One more power up this time. Okay, and then we'll do this right here. And this now you have a domain plus an ultimate going at the same time. So you guys will see some of the damage coming through here shortly, okay? All right. There we go. One, two, and one more of those. And here we can go ahead and cast Don't Move. And now we have ourselves our ultimates, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do these two ultimates together so you guys can see the power. All right, so tutoring. This right here, expansion, Chimera, non-standard, and then, as a matter of fact, actually, we can probably do this. So you know what? No, we'll, sa we'll save that. Let's do tutoring one more time. This, this, and then we'll do twisted. Okay, here you guys go. So check it out. This is the diamond. This is now going to do a massive amount of damage here on the opponent. Ideally, you want to cast that when there's a break going on, but that stun is is amazing. Look at that, 100% stun. And then you do the cooperative, which should most likely break the opponent. There's a break. Perfect. And now, you guys can use the second skill that he has, right? Which is going to even do insane amount of damage. It's right here. The Sprint Slash is going to do so much more damage. Now, the reason why Sprint Slash does so much more damage now, if you read it, when the Chimera, it's now become Chimera skill, uh, it does, does way more damage now in, in the mode that it's in. 367.2% of physical damage and 183 of curse technique. Plus now it applies 100% stun. So we're going to go ahead and cast that. Gojo can now go ahead and do no normal attacks. Here we can do explode and cast another ultimate. And this is the, the special boss, right? So this is going to do a lot more damage than, than you normally would get. But Megumi does insane amounts of DPS on all bosses. And his 100% stun is incredible too. So that really does help keep you alive and allow allowing your team to do even more damage throughout the entire battle. Watch this. One, two, three. Look how much damage that does. Frig, it's crazy. Okay, we'll do one more of these. Do another ward off here. And you guys can see now he's not recovering any more uh, ultimate damage, right? So keep that in mind when you're doing this battle. Once you complete his domain and the domain is, is active, he no longer will be getting himself any more um, ultimate technique, right? You guys can see right here. I'll move myself to the other side. Look at that. See, zero still. So just remember that in the domain, you don't build any more ultimate. It's just regular. It's just insane attacks after insane attacks until the domain is gone. There it is. Look at the stun again. Right at that. Like, not moving. There it is. Now he should be able to start getting back all of his, all of his um, ultimates now. Okay? Watch. There it is. See, now he's getting it. Now you got to build right back to the start again. And we did quite a bit of damage here, too. Let's go tutoring one more time. Actually, you know what? We'll probably do this attack this time. We'll do Farewell Slash. This, and we'll just do a regular attack here. So, overall, guys, insane damage, amazing utility, physical and curse damage, provides great AoE damage as well, too, and is overall a powerhouse of a unit when it comes down to DPS. Um, let me just go next here completed so is he worth it absolutely he absolutely is worth it if you are a big fan of megumi this is the megumi you absolutely do want the best one currently in the game as well as gonna be probably the best one in cn for quite some time now keeping in mind also the fact that he's going to the standard banner so when utah does come out if you are saving you have an opportunity to still get him while you are pulling for utah but if you are urgently looking for a very strong DPS right now, besides Gojo and Nubara, he is definitely the top tier DPS to be added to any team and pretty much can carry any form of content right now on his own with the proper support team uh, as your main DPS. So if you don't have Gojo or if you're not a fan of Gojo, seven turn release, if you don't have Nubara, Megumi is obviously a great, great option. But again, many of you guys are going to be waiting for Utah. So in case you plan to wait, you may have an opportunity if they put them in the regular pool to pull while you're pulling for Utah. All right, guys, it's Payne. Let me know what you what you like about him. If you do like him, what what about him you do like and what you don't. If you don't like him, uh, and let me know if you actually pulled for him, if you got him. All right, guys, it's Payne. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.